Hi, um, I'm Kate on Conservation and happy Wild Book Day. I'm going to be giving you a reading from Wild Lives, leading conservationists on the animals and planet they love. Um, this is a book that actually looks at 20 different conservationists and their work in the field. And I'm going to give you a reading from chapter 14, Ian Craig, Peacemaker. The reason I've chose Ian Craig as uh, the starting point of where I'm going to read from is because I've been learning about his work recently since attending the lecture at the Royal Geographical Society in London and it was Lessons for the Future of Africa's Wildlife and Communities and it was all about his uh, conservancy, Lewa, and the amazing work that they're doing in northern Kenya. So I've chosen that particular chapter to start with. So this is from Ian Craig, Peacemaker. To protect elephants and rhinos from poachers, NRT has two dedicated anti-poaching teams that are working closely with the Kenyan Wildlife Services and Conservancy Rangers. Additionally, NRT has sent more than 300 of the Community Conservancy Rangers to the Kenya Wildlife Service field training schools. Many of these rangers have become certified Kenyan police reservists, able to disarm poachers and make arrests. The most powerful weapon against poaching, though, is still the community and their sense of ownership over their land and the animals that inhabit it. People used to think all the wildlife belonged to the government, says Craig, but now they see it as theirs. They care what happens, he goes on to explain. Poachers are criminal. If you wanted to kill a rhino in Lewa, you would have to have inside knowledge and bribe someone in the system to work with you. Even in the conservancies, there are criminals and people happy if there is enough money involved to kill a rhino inside the sanctuary. So if you have a broker who bribes someone in the conservancy to kill a rhino, it's a local chain of events. To stop the poaching, we have a very sophisticated intelligence network working with the government. We have a depository of all the bad people. The community knows the bad people. They will tell us if a person is looking to kill a rhino, so we start watching that person. That is what has reduced the poaching. There are great reasons why people would turn into poachers and support conservation. Most of the poachers have inside information and are locally known. The communities are now naming and shaming the poachers. Poaching is reduced, but that doesn't mean poachers aren't still a danger. This is why Craig always carries a gun. I actually think this book <coughs> is really good for looking at um, what's actually going on in the places across the globe that these conservationists are from and it gives a great insight in uh, the work that they do and actually obviously the challenges that they come up against. So I really recommend it as a great source of reference and uh, another something to read on World Book Day. So thank you for taking the time to read the blog post and to listen to the other readings and I hope to see you soon.